I'm Rachel and I just finished the School of Identity and Lifestyle and I came here because I met Frank uh, in Holland and he told me about the school and he said it's really great and then I started thinking about it if I want to go here as well but I wasn't so sure but then God clearly told me to come here and then I decided yeah I'm, I'm doing that and um, but I wasn't really sure what I'm going, what I have to expect, and uh, what's going to happen, because I thought I'm, um, I'm in a really good church, and I have already good teaching, and I didn't expect too much difference. But then when I came here, I, <laughs> Rory was asking a lot of questions, and they really showed me that there are some hidden lies in my life and that it's really good to dig deeper into the word and to really ask God what is true and what yeah, he wants to do in our life and how he wants to transform it. And yeah. Um, Rachel, what would you say were well, one or two of those big lies you found that you were believing that you kind of were shown through the scriptures that you didn't understand before? I thought that the devil has much more power. Like I knew that there's a scripture that all power is given to Jesus and yeah that there is nothing but it, I didn't like I knew it somehow but I didn't really believe it and it was good to go deeper into this topic and um, yeah, and I lost a lot of fear this week, yeah. Awesome. We like losing fear, right? <laughs> it's not part of who we are. Okay, and then how was it uh, How was it yesterday going out in the streets? That was great. Um, I, it's not the first time that I did it. I, I'm used to go to people and talk to them, but I was afraid to pray for healing. And yesterday I got challenged <laughs> to do that and that was really good um, and yeah I, I want to I, I, I could see that a lot of what I did before was right and good and I want to go further this direction and yeah it's not about the healing it's about talking to the people and really loving them and that's what we did yesterday. That was great. Awesome. And how would you say your perspective finally going home now? How do you think that's changed in the day to day, knowing who you are? How how do you think you wear glasses, right? But how do you think you'll be looking at life with a different lens? Um, like uh, before I came to the school, I often um, had days when I just let myself. Uh, yeah, feel down and not motivated and um, somehow not like I had no, I felt like there's no joy and and I knew this is not from God and I always tried to get rid of those thoughts but I think um, after the school it will be easier for me to to really see that I'm a new new creation and I I can just uh, keep going and I don't have to, to listen to all those lies yeah. that yeah that I'm not worth um, or that I have to be sad or something like that. Yeah. Amen. You are so precious to him. You're the apple of his eye. You are going to be a light because you're going to remember who you are in the situation. And yeah, you're, we're all just growing and we're entitled to make mistakes right so yeah it's been amazing to have you thank you for coming rachel thank you